Hi everyone, what's up? Well, today is another quickie video that I'd like to share with you. Um, I did want to post this on the t Alum video, but I wanted to do it in HD since a lot of people were asking me about making some videos in HD, so here we go. Uh, unfortunately, we have some bad news. Uh, two of my inverts has passed away. One of my P. regalislings uh, wasn't eating that well and got some really weak, weakened and then it passed away. As well as something odd happened, my centipede had passed away as well today. Um, I think it was a lack of humidity, but for some reason, like two days ago, it was completely fine, and now, yeah, that's sad. And anyway, I'm going to probably look for another one. Um, I'm going to call Angelo's store tomorrow to see if there is any more available in stock. All right, so on the brighter side, You've probably seen these in a tour video that I made. Now, I got the news to share with you. All these four tarantulas have molted and I did not even see that they molted. So, I'd like to take the opportunity to share with you guys. So, this is the very first tea that molted. And she is large, as you would believe. And this is the S. calciatum. If you saw my Iraqan Tour Part 2 video, this is the one that had the venom dripping from her fangs. As you can see, she is a monster. Five and a half inches, so this is pretty much the full size that S. calciatum will get. And really defensive T. See, look at that. I just mentioned that she was a defensive T and she decides to attack me. Just as ill tempered as my P. Cancerides. Yeah, this is another one that needs anger management problems. Always, always in a bad mood for your Ascalcetum, so just watch out if you ever get into these species. Okay, so now I have three other slings that molted, and here they are. Well, this is the uh, uh, last Eudorides striatus that I got from Tarantula Canada for $15. Uh, this used to be a half inch. Here's her molt, and this is now what she looks like. I was wondering why that she would not eat. Uh, during that second part of the feeding video 101 and now I knew why didn't really grow that much probably grew about a quarter of an inch so might be a slow to medium grower not the fastest though but I can't wait to see how big she's gonna get they get up to having a seven inch leg span you probably saw in my expo video that I taken in November the one with the huge carapace at Bruce's table. That's that one. That's why I decided to buy it. Okay. Now, uh, the two recent Stomopolis editions that I got from Tarantula Canada, both of them molted at the exact same time, which is really cool. So, I'll show you the smaller one. Uh, this is the Stomopolis Reduncus, the Costa Rican orange mouth. Very underrated uh, tarantula in the Somapos genus. You can see little bits and pieces of her legs, which is the molt. And this is now what she looks like now. She used to be half an inch, now she looks to be around three quarters of an inch. And that's why she would eat. Very nice. I'll open up the cage so you can have a good look at her. Oh, she decided to hide. But something really cool and interesting is the growth rate of my P. Pulker. She actually got a significantly bigger than that Reduncus. So here is the molt. Right over here you can see the legs. And look at the size difference. She actually grew about half an inch or so. 
So it looks like she, it's around the one inch mark, starting to get their adult colors with the blonde legs, which is characteristic of the pea poker as adults. I remember having Rosalina, my four and a half inch, that unfortunately passed away prematurely. But luckily, hopefully, she's a girl, and I'll call her Rosalina the second. Very, very nice species. But oh my goodness, this is going to be one moody tea. Very similar to the Pierminia, being in which I have to make those. Yeah, so here's a video of showing the molts for the four T's. A big six inch female, <laughs> very angry uh, S. calcedum, feather leg baboon. Three quarter inch Somalpolis reduncus, Costa Rican orange mouth. One inch P. pulker. As well as three quarter inch Lassiduridis striatus. The glass trip lake. Hope you enjoyed everyone and thanks for watching. I guess before I end the video, I got like two requests from people to film my trapdoor to see how well it's doing. Still alive and doing well. Uh, very hard to see. And she's under there and she does not look happy. So let me just close her door. There we go, didn't want to disturb her. And, oh, okay, so there's a little window. You won't see much of this trapper spider. It's a hider, but at least I know she's alive and doing well. Had her for three years. Uh, she's a two-inch wild-caught female doing well in a tall deli container with peat moss as substrate fill up to about three-quarters of the way full and she's happy in there so that's the video of my four molts from my teas as well as an update video of my black trapdoor spider next up Mythbuster video on the O. Diamantinensis.